In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to Stripe's new payment links feature and tell you why I'm so excited about it and show you how to use it. Hey, it's Craig here, and this is where I help small business owners and entrepreneurs grow and manage their business online. So let's jump right into it. So you may have heard about Stripe and wanna get started. If so, I do have a video about how to get started with Stripe, creating your account, and retrieving your API keys that you'll need for your online service. I'll go ahead and I'll link that above in this video as well as in the description below. So up until now, there have really just been two big players in the online payment processing space, and those are Stripe and PayPal. One of the big features that separated PayPal was their PayPal buttons or PayPal links feature, which allowed you to go ahead and create any type of PayPal button or link for any type of product or service that you wanted to sell in which you didn't need an e-commerce system or online shopping cart. Now the beautiful thing is Stripe has gone ahead and created their own payment links feature. So why don't we go ahead and take a look what it looks like. We're gonna choose sign in and I'm gonna sign into my account. I'll fill in the two-step authentication. Now from the menu on the left, I'm going to choose products and then I'm going to choose payment links and then I'm going to click on new. So what we're seeing here on the left hand side is a product selection area. We can go ahead and we can add a new product or we can go ahead and select an existing product that we have in our system. And on the right hand side here we have a preview image. This is going to show what that payment page is going to look like. This is what it looks like on a desktop and here we can see what it looks like on a mobile phone. So I'll turn it back to the desktop. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create two new products. So why don't we go ahead and Click on the box here and we're going to choose add new product. I'm going to call this one one on one strategy session. I can go ahead and add a description if I like and on the right hand side here I can also upload an image. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bypass those for now. I'm going to charge $197 for this. I can leave it as Canadian dollars for this one. And this is important, one time or recurring. This is going to be a one off strategy session so I'm going to leave it as one time. Our next product that we'll create, we're going to use the recurring feature. Then we can click on additional options. And you'll see this price description field. This is optional and this is also just for administration purposes. So if you needed to add any special notes here, you can go ahead and do that. This will not be shown to the client. So let's click add product. So you'll see here one on one strategy session, 197 Canadian dollars. It's exactly what I need. And you'll notice here it says change how this page looks in branding settings. So I don't currently have any branding settings in place and that's why it's not pulling in any logo or any custom colors, but you can go ahead, you can click on that link if you like. You can add a logo, you can add an icon, and you can choose two different colors that would be displayed throughout the page. That's not really the purpose of this video, so we're not gonna worry about that. On the left hand side here, we're gonna see customize. And under customize, you will see some different options here. So the first one is allow promotion codes. So if I check that, you'll notice on the preview screen here, there's now an add promotion code link. If they go ahead, they click on that, they'll be able to input a promotion code. We'll turn that off for this specific product. We can also allow the customers to adjust their quantity. It's not really needed for this particular type of product, so I'm going to leave that off as well. And then the next one is collect customers' addresses. By default, to kind of have a seamless checkout process, Stripe doesn't actually re require a full billing address. You'll notice on the right-hand side here, they're just requesting the country and the zip code, which is definitely ideal to cut down on the amount of information that customers need to provide in a checkout process. But if you need that for any reason, you can always check this box here and choose billing addresses only so they can input their entire address for the billing purposes or you can choose billing and shipping addresses, which gives them the option to define unique addresses for shipping and billing. We're gonna go ahead and uncheck this as well. So now that we've gone ahead and customized our payment link, let's actually go on the top right here and choose create link. And it says your link is ready to go. One-on-one -on -one strategy session for 197 Canadian dollars. You're going to see my link here, which we're gonna look at in one second. Under details, you'll notice that it's active, the date created, and you'll see it lists those additional options, which we turned off. And then below here, it's also going to list which products are associated with this payment link. So here is our payment link. Now we can go ahead and we can just click on this link here. It's being copied to our clipboard. Why don't we go ahead and we'll open this up and see what it looks like. And there we go. That's exactly what we want to see. 
you'll notice there was about a half second delay before this Google Pay button showed up. And that's because Stripe detected what platform we're viewing this payment link from, and then it loaded an applicable payment button, which is real handy because if I had payment set up in my Google Chrome browser, I can go ahead and bypass filling in all of this information and just choose this to pay. And you'll notice it's going to work if you also open this link on your iPhone or iPad. So let's go ahead and close this out. And we'll navigate back to payment links and you'll see our payment link is active here. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And again, let's go ahead and add a new product. We're gonna call this one VIP membership. I'm not really gonna specify what it's for, but let's say I have some sort of online membership. Again, image and description, optional, and you can go ahead and add that in. And the price for this membership is going to be $67, but this time it's going to be a recurring membership. And we are going to bill monthly because it's $67 per month membership. So let's choose add product. And there we go, that's looking good. This time we are going to choose allow promotion codes. But you'll also notice a new headline, subscription settings, which allows us to include a free trial. So let's go ahead and we'll check that as well. So now our order form is saying, try the VIP membership, 30 days free, then $67 per month. So let's go ahead, we're gonna choose create a link. Now, before we go ahead and copy this link and share it with anyone, we're gonna go on the left-hand side here and choose coupons. You'll see I have no coupons created, so I'm gonna choose create a coupon. So our VIP membership is $67 per month. We've also got a free month trial, but for this particular user or this group of users, I wanna discount their membership to $47 a month. So let's just go ahead and give this a name and we'll call it $20 off per month. We're gonna leave the ID field optional for now. And under type, we are going to choose a fixed amount discount. And the discount amount is going to be $20. And we do wanna apply this to specific products. If you had multiple products and you left this unchecked, then this coupon code could be used on any product. But let's go ahead and choose our specific product. There it is. Duration is forever. And here we have some additional options as far as limiting the date range for when this coupon could be redeemed, as well as the number of times it can be redeemed for. We're not worried about that here, so we'll leave those unchecked. And under codes, you'll see use customer facing coupon codes. We want to turn this toggle on and we'll scroll down. And here you can input your desired coupon code. You can leave it blank and Stripe will generate one for you. I definitely don't recommend that. Definitely come up with one yourself. So we'll just call this one 20 off. And remember, this is case sensitive, so I do want to have this all caps, so I'm going to input it like that. And then it's up to you to go through these different settings and see what applies for this particular product and this particular coupon. So is it eligible for a first time order only? Limit this to a specific customer. This is going to be for customers that are already in your Stripe database. So this one you're not going to be used too often. Limit the number of times this coupon can be redeemed. You can add an expiration date for this coupon. So if you'd like this offer to expire at the end of the month, you can go ahead and define that. And then you can also require a minimum order value. But this one doesn't really apply because we are specifying a product and a fixed dollar amount off. So we can also leave that unchecked. So now on the bottom right, let's go ahead and choose create coupon. There we go, our coupon code has been created, $20 off per month. So let's head back over to payment links. And you'll see our top link here, VIP membership. Let's click on this icon to copy it to the clipboard. Let's open it in a new tab. And now let's choose add promotion code and we'll type in 20 off and we'll choose apply. And there we go. It says our VIP membership, 30 days free, $67 per month thereafter. The subtotal was $67, but our coupon code is being applied so it's taking off $20, so our total after the trial will be 47, but again today, the total amount due is $0. So they can go ahead, they can input their payment information and choose a start trial. So there we go, we created two products, one for a strategy session, which was a one-off payment of $197, and then we created a subscription payment for our VIP membership, which was $67 a month, and we discounted it down to $47 per month. So we got to see the coupon code feature in action, as well as the free trial offer. So the nice thing now is that these links are going to give you the flexibility to go ahead and you can copy these, 
You can send them to a direct customer. You can send them in an email newsletter. You can share them on social media. And this is not going to require you to have an e-commerce system or shopping cart in place. And it's just gonna take away some of that friction that you may feel when you're trying to get a new product or service out there and you're just struggling with the technical aspects of it. This is gonna allow you to come in here, easily create a payment link and just get it out to an individual person or a group of people. So I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications below. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video.